first of all, I want to go ahead and say you're in the Dominican Republic. You shot this in Jamaica. It's snowing here in Chicago. Please send some of this warmth this way, please. Here, I'm sending you the heat, the tropical energy, the beats. The, I'm sending you all of that good energy over there. Oh, my goodness. You're the best. Thank you so much. Amara La Negra, <laughs> singer, actress, dancer, author, TV host, is going to be part of Family Reunion Love and Hip Hop Edition uh, coming to us on November 28th. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. No, thank you so much for having me. And thank you for allowing me to use your platform to share my experiences and all the great things that I'm doing. And obviously, uh, to promote, you know, this amazing experience of Love and Hip Hop the family reunion version. I had never been part of it. I was, I was so grateful that they, um, that they, you know, asked me to to be part of this, uh, this journey because I really learned a lot from other cast members. Uh, I think that sometimes you can be so judgmental when you see these celebrities on TV or social media, and you really don't have an opportunity to get to know who they are as a person. I think that this family reunion allowed us to see a different side from many of us. Because it's not as everybody went to, to Jamaica. Talk a little bit about how maybe going to like a neutral location, somewhere where people aren't, you know, not their home base uh, to be able to shoot the show. Yes, I think that the just being able to go to a tropical, you know, area to just experience something different, to come together. Um, also, the fact that a lot of us didn't know each other. We had seen each other, right? We knew of each other, but never had the ability to actually spend time together, the possibility. And being able to come together, it gave us an opportunity to realize that we, a lot of us have more things in common than we even knew. A lot of friendships grew out of, out of this family reunion. Um, many great things happened. There were a lot of arguments because obviously not everybody's going to get along, but there were also a lot of healing experiences that, we saw families come together. We saw relationships that had been broken as friendships or whatever come together. It was really, really cool. It was really, really, I really enjoyed it, honestly. I'm not going to lie. And obviously, I love Jamaica. Shout out to all the Jamaicans. Shout out to Spice for um, allowing us to come to her hometown and showing us a great time, a different experience. Sending her only but love and blessings. And, and I, she's in our prayers so that she can heal and be at her, at her best because we miss her so much. But um, what can I tell you? I miss Jamaica already. Um, but I do want to switch topics a little bit because I want to talk about the twins. Uh, they have their own Instagram account. Yes. They have the cutest outfits in the whole wide world. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, being about being a mom and, you know, how that's kind of transformed your your experience. Well, just in case you might hear my babies in the background. Um, I love I'm it. I love it. it. I love it. As honest and as transparent and as organic as possible. I am here in the Dominican Republic. I am in the middle of one of my our last Royal Twins Empire real estate properties that will be available for Airbnb soon. Um, being a mother has brought like the 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 most ambitious side of me. I am so goal oriented right now. I love being a mother. They are the love of my life, my biggest motivation, and that's why I'm a big believer in generational wealth. Um, because of them, now I have Las Royal Twins Transportation, which is a car rental in the Dominican Republic. We have Airbnbs. Uh, different apartments. We have Las World Twins Children's Book is coming out next year. They have LasWorldTwins.com and their baby infant clothing line. So many things. Um, I'm so blessed. And honestly, this has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. A lot of people have different personalities. There's new friendships that are formed, you know, some drama that, that may happen. But what are you hoping that like your part in, in your world and all this positive energy you're bringing, you hope to bring to, to this new season of the show? Listen, the drama is always going to be there because that's just part of life. But realistically, like um, those that know me and those that know this this new stage in life that I am right now, I'm super focused and determined in being the best version of me and becoming the best mother I can be. Um, obviously, the best daughter I can be to my mother as well. So I always try to bring the peace. I always try to be as mature as possible in all these situations. Um what can I say? I really wanted this to be like a healing, you know, healing uh, situation. Like if I ever hurt anyone, if I ever made anybody feel uncomfortable, if I could just squash to be create, you know, peace and move forward, that's really where I was, you know, during reunion and where I am now. Um, I don't know. I guess if you want to see what really happened, you just have to watch the show November 28th. It's going to be lit. It's going to be good. You guys are really going to enjoy it. And you're going to see, I'll tell you this much. Here's a little tea. Um, I don't know, for some reason, a lot of people think that my life, you know, seems to be so perfect or that I may be fake trying to sell a facade that's not true. And this and, and on the show, I was able to show, listen, my life is not perfect. I've made many mistakes, but I've learned from them and it's only but made a bigger and a better person. So you have to definitely watch. This is it's, it's a really good experience to watch. 
I love that, that you're an entrepreneur. I love um, everything that you're doing with your family. I love that you're on the show, but I also love your music. That always gets me yes! in like the best mood. Um, any new music coming out? Well, um, I am preparing myself, you know, uh, obviously during motherhood, I really want to be able to enjoy my daughter's creative business foundation so that I can go back on stage. And on this new season of Love & Hip Hop Miami, you will see I'm going to need that back on stage with my twins working really hard because I miss stage and I know that my fans miss me too. So um, I, it's, I think it's finally time. It's time to get back to it. Actually, I told you, you know, it's snowing here in, in, in Chicago. You put on a web day and suddenly it's like you feel like you're in, in the Dominican Republic with you. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You hear you hear that dembo. You hear that culture and that music. And I love that. I love those that really know my music, that follow it. Um, because like I said before, I miss being on stage. Unfortunately, I had gone through some, you know, some situations. A lot of artists go through it, but I'm still a Mara La Negra no matter what. And I'm still going to be an artist no matter what. I love being an entrepreneur and other things, but I'm going to be back on stage. That's why you can't miss Love and Hip Hop Miami. There's new season coming up soon too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Family Reunion, Love and Hip Hop, th third season coming to us November 28th on VH1. You're the best. Bye, thank you. Thank you.